And this is the kit of parts used to make that robot. Inside the kit, there is a deck, which is the platform that all of the stuff goes on to. Um, there is also an Arduino. That is right there on the robot. And for the Arduino, there's a cable. This is a USB A to B cable. This is A, that plugs into the computer, and this is B, that plugs into the Arduino right there. There's also a breadboard, and a battery, a 9 volt battery pack right there, and a AA battery pack right there. The battery packs come with on and off switches, so you should check that they're switched off and that there's electrical tape at the ends of the wire so that they don't short. Just to be double sure. Just to be double sure, indeed. Um, there's five pieces of double stick tape that you're going to use to attach the breadboard and the um, battery packs. There's also two sonar sensors. The sonar sensors are at the front of this robot, and they allow the robot to sense what's in front of it. Um, this is what the sonar sensors look like. but you might have yours in different kinds of packaging. So again, there's two sonar sensors. And there's also two motors. The motors control the wheels on the robot. You can see them on the other side right here. Right here. Then we've got um, a, an Allen wrench. You're going to use this for some of the screws on the robot, like these. Then there are a few different bags that have a bunch of stuff in them that we're going to go over in more detail later. So there's a bag with a bunch of printed parts, there's a bag with wires, and there's one with screws and little metal parts. And those are all the pieces that are used to make this robot.